Hi, my name is Penny Warner. I'm with Grace and Mercy Ministries. I'm a wife of 30 years. I am a mother. I have four children. My oldest just got married in May and is expecting our first grandbaby in April. So exciting. Um, anyway, before I start my story, a little bit of a background on my husband and I. Um, we started working with youth in uh, 91 got married in 92, uh, converted in 2000, and have been working with youth ever since. Um, they're very inspiring to me, um, and I love working with them. So every year uh, we go to a camp. Um, I chaperone a high school camp, and uh, every year, it's a, it's a, it's a week-long camp, and normally on Thursdays, we have an extended time of adoration. So this particular night, um, we were going to adoration. And I, as usual, I sit in the very, very back because it's the most amazing thing to see our youth, um, even the big high school boys, uh, on their faces in adoration. I just absolutely love it. And that's why I go back every year to camp. Anyway, so I was sitting in the back and um, the church was amazing and beautiful. It was a very intimate little, little church. And I just, um, it just was very cozy and I, and, and felt really nice in there. Um, and so I, I sit in the very back and I look forward and on the altar was the monstrance. And I have never, ever seen a host as big as the one I saw at Adoration that night. Um, and I was in awe. Uh, and the more I sat there, the more and more in love I became for our Lord. And I, I just had this overwhelming urge to pray that our youth that night would have a special encounter with our Lord. Every time we have an encounter with our Lord is amazing, but I wanted this night to be particularly special, uh, for some, for the youth. And as I was focused on Christ in the monstrance, I saw three scratch marks come on, on Jesus on, in the, in the monstrance. And it looked like Jesus had been beaten. Um, it was, you know, the color of, of blood and, um, and I just kept looking forward and, and he allowed me to see that. And so I was very grateful, felt very blessed, um, at that point. And I, I didn't want to appear ungrateful, but I wanted, I wanted the youth to see what I was seeing so that they could have this special encounter with, with Christ. And so we were in adoration for probably an hour and a half. And, um, the whole time I was there, um, uh, I saw these marks on, on Jesus and the monstrance. And I just, 
I really, I just wanted the kids to have an experience. And so I, again, I was just, I just begged our Lord to be able to, um, pray for the kids so that they can have this experience. And, um, and so after we left the Adoration Chapel, um, I looked across the parking lot and um, there was a, a, a young man there that I had known f- since he was little because we've been going to this camp, you know, every year. So I would see, I saw him grow, you know, and now he was at this high school camp. So I, I saw him across the way and um, I told him, I said, well, I saw him across the way and I went up and approached him and he, you could tell that something just wasn't, you know, quite right. Um, and so I, I said, Hey, uh, how, how you doing? I'm just wondering how adoration was for you. And if you had any special encounters, you know, that you want to share. And his eyes got huge and he said, yeah, yeah, I have something to share. So we went over into the corner parking lot and, um, I said, okay, well, just share with me what happened. And he said he was in adoration and all of a sudden he looked forward and saw these scratch marks on, on the host, on Jesus. And, and I didn't know what to do, but I just stood there and, and adored him. And I was overwhelmed. I'm very grateful that he was able to have that experience. Um, so, you know, we get the Eucharist every Sunday, so it shouldn't be that surprising of how I felt that night when I saw Jesus that big in the monstrance. And, and the, you know, every time we take the Eucharist, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. And um, so... What a consolation that he gave me that night. And I hope that it might encourage you to truly believe in what you say this piece of bread is. If you truly believe that it is literally our Lord then we must go more and see him. And the more we go, the more he'll show us. And I just ask that God will bless you uh, coming up with this Advent season. And um, thank you for letting me share.